All right, let's go a little bit deeper into the Sculptures Pro settings. We're going to talk about global settings as well as individual brush settings. So just in case you didn't watch the previous videos and this divider is closed, go ahead and double click this divider here. Go to your brush here and grab this little white dot and drag it over here. And these are your brush settings. So what we can do is if this brush menu is getting a little bit long, you can hit this R key. That's not going to delete any brushes, but that'll go ahead and clean that area up just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and close that smooth brush modifiers menu. So under our brush menu, you're going to see there's a Sculptures Pro submenu. And if you go to any brush, so if I switch to my clay buildup or my clay tubes, for example, or my clay brush or my standard brush, you're going to see that by default, Sculptures Pro is enabled and it says use global. What this use global means, and anything in ZBrush, if you hover over it, it's going to give you a little bit better description. So if you don't know what this button is and you hover over it, you're going to say, oh, this is draw polyframe. So that turns polyframe on and off. And if you hold down the control key, that's going to give you an even more detailed description of what this button does. So just like anything else in the interface, you can hover over Use Global, you can hold down Control, and it will tell you what that Use Global button is going to do. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and explain this global setting versus the individual brush settings. So in order to look at the individual brush settings, what I'm going to do is go to the Stroke menu here. And just like we dragged our brush menu over here, I'm going to take the Stroke menu, grab this little white dot, and drag it over to the right. So we have two docking menus. If you double click these little arrows right here, that's going to open and close these two side menus. So on this side, we have our brush menu. And on this side, we have our tool menu. And we also have our stroke menu. So underneath our stroke menu, if you open up Sculptures Pro, you're going to see these are our global settings. Now we're going to dive deeper into what these things mean, but I just want to show you the ability to have brush settings for individual brushes that you might want, as well as global settings for all of your brushes that use Sculptures Pro mode. So for example, like we were talking about earlier, if you hold down shift, we have a smooth brush, and then we have a smooth one brush that we cloned off, and this is going to be a Sculptures Pro enabled with Z intensity at zero, so we can change the resolution of our object here on the fly. So you can see if we turn on polyframe here, we can change the resolution of our object without smoothing the actual vertices of our object down. Let's say we want to make another version of the smooth brush. So we'll take the smooth brush here, and we'll go ahead and hit clone again. And now we're going to go in here, we have a Smooth 2 brush. Now for the Smooth 2 brush, let's say we don't want to have Sculptures Pro Mode enabled at all. So what we can do is we can go over here to our brush settings, go down here to Sculptures Pro submenu, and turn off Enable. So now when I switch between brushes, let's say go back to my clay brush here, go back to my standard brush here. Oops, you're going to see we disabled it for the standard brush because I didn't have Shift held down. So we've disabled it for my standard brush. You can see Enable's turned off. If we want to disable it for that Smooth brush, Make sure you have Shift held down, and then turn off Enable. But you can do that for any brush. So again, if I go to my clay brush here and turn off Enable, it doesn't matter if I switch to the standard brush, then back to the clay brush. Clay brush is never going to use Sculptures Pro because I have it turned off. So if there are any brushes in your ZBrush menu that you never want to use Sculptures Pro with, or very rarely, you can disable it in here and then save it out, just like we did previously, and assign your hotkeys to that brush. Now, if you do want Sculptures Pro enabled, but you don't want it to use these global settings we, that are over here, which we're going to talk about in just a minute, you can turn off Use Global, and now this brush right here has individual settings that we can uh, change on the fly. So if we go back to our standard brush, you're going to see Use Global is turned on. If we go back to our clay brush, this one's using specific brush settings for this. Now in the instance of this clay brush, if you didn't want to go up here and then clone this off to make a separate clay brush, what you can do is you can go to clay, uncheck use global if that's what you want to do for your clay brush. Go up here to the brush menu, save as, go to your C program files, pixel logic, ZBrush 2018, Z data, brush presets, and then just save over this clay brush. If you do that, every time you start up ZBrush, your clay brush will have use global turned off, just like you see here and any other settings that you've changed.